Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, <clears throat> welcome to the stream. Thank you for the subscription, Slim, thank you indeed. But we are here playing on said Nuzlocke save file. We have been doing relatively well, relatively well indeed. And we'll just say two things before we, skip, before we get into this. One, it's incredibly hot in the UK right now as I have my fan on. I'm just going to go and um, open my window one sec. So, yeah, I have my fan on. Um, hey, thank you, Rogue Luke, for the gifted subs. You absolute legend. You legend. Oh, my God. No. My bot. My bot got one of the subs. Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh. Why? <laughs> yes, thank you, Rogue Luke. Thank you very much. <laughs> Melon bot has been subbed for three months in a row. God damn it. But anyways, yes, thank you. And I also will say, I am currently ill. I am currently fairly ill. I have a bit of a cold, so snivelly nose and coughs maybe throughout. But just accept that that's going to happen. And we'll hopefully have a good time. But yes, thank you so much for all of those gifted subs. That is amazing. Amazing. Anyways. We are on an eight win streak right now. Also, mod here for um, character portraits. Looks pretty awesome, right? Why you know take the stream up to rest? Because there ain't no rest for the wicked. Yeah, d thank you, Rogue Luke. It's, uh, it's very appreciated. And we should totally do some co-op. Isaac or Gungeon at some point in the future. I'm definitely looking forward to uh, doing some content with you. But yeah, it looks awesome. But we have quite a few different things we can do today. I really want to try and get a lamb kill today. Now this will probably be a, a shorter stream than normal because I said, as I said, I am a bit ill. We've not unlocked, um, we've not unlocked the hush yet, so we can't try going for the thingy characters quite yet. We, we can't quite go for the um, tainted characters yet. But we are hopefully building up and getting there. Um, but yeah, what do, what do people think? We've got Judas we haven't played. Eve we haven't played. Lilith we haven't played. Uh, we could do Lilith Greed. Greed Lilith should be easy, yeah. That's probably a good idea. Um, so no one's died so far. No one has died so far. No one has died so far. You are right, though. Lilith Greed should be fairly easy. Should be fairly easy indeed. Lamb Azazel. See, the thing is about Azazel, you've got to um, you got to do character. Um, you got to do uh, sack rooms because we don't have the lamb unlocked yet. So, Judas, just be careful. Ooh, that is tempting. I think we are going to do Lilith Greed first. That is a that is a pretty good idea. That should be a pretty easy one to knock out. Um, so let's just jump in and get into this first run. Lilith Greed is. A bit of a saucy one, but she can be quite fun. Uh, and we start with a tears up, which is really, really nice. A very good tears up as well. <laughs> Didn't he say no greed moon today? nothing else. Draco, that that mostly just applies to characters that aren't Lilith, because Lilith greed is kind of should or at least should be pretty easy. Um, but hey, it's Jim Bong. Oh my God. He's here. But yeah, Lilith Greed Mode, we can basically do all the waves in one go. A fire rate up makes this significantly better for us. And one thing I didn't actually know is once you hit, I think it's 115 coins on, Greedia mo on Greed Mode, sorry, you get the achievement Everything is Terrible 2, which makes Greed Mode harder. So we don't actually have that yet, which should mean that we have longer timers and more money. Until we donate that amount, we should be fine. So I'm kind of tempted to do all of normal greed modes before that. But at the same time, we don't get any points for normal greed mode. We're just kind of doing it to unlock greedier. Um, slash, like, get our donations in and unlock the keeper and stuff. So that's kind of a tactic that's a bit odd. We could do it for the secrets, but... I don't know how effective it actually is because we're not getting any completion marks. Um, but we're ho I'm hoping that we can get ourselves to at least above 300 completion marks today. Um, ooh, that was a bad hit. Yeah, at least above 300 completion marks today would be really nice. 
Uh, I am going to be playing this relatively safe. Um, I'm not going to bother using our uh, box of friends anymore. We could get one more use out of it pretty easily here. But I think once you have four Incubus on the first floor, you are more than set. It's really, it's re it's really fun uh, playing greed mode with this. Uh, but yeah, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know what the Nuzlocke is, instead of introing it each episode now, or each uh, day, each stream, I've instead created a command. If you do exclamation mark Nuzlocke, it'll give you a good breakdown of the premise and the rules that we follow uh, while playing this. So please do that if you want to check out what's going on. This was a very strange little wave there. Um, it should work. It might not be working right now, but it should be working. Um... Let me, let me see why that's not working. <laughs> Immediately doesn't work. Ah, oh, one minute, one minute. I've, I've buggered it up. One second. I've buggered it up. Uh, let's try. Try that. See if that works now. It should work now. Okay. Been playing really well during the Nuzlocke. Nice, nice. Good to hear. Okay, we don't want to go Devil Deal. That'd be just stupid. Um, in terms of this, I'm definitely going to take meat here just because the HP is really good. Uh, I'm going to buy a key. And I'm going to buy a Soul Heart. I don't really care about how much we donate this time around. That's really fucking good. Cuba meat's awesome on greedier mode. On greed mode, should I say. That's really, really nice. But yes, um, I hope that that, uh, that helps out there for you guys. With the bot. For people that don't know what's going on. All right, we got here. A bit of speed up. Not too bad, not too bad. I think speed up's pretty important. Check what we got in here. Um, another HP up. Hopefully we can get a penny out of this. And then get ourselves a nice key early on. That'd be really nice. Sadly not. But anyways, Cuba Meat here should be awesome. Because we're going to be getting a fourth level Cuba Meat very easily. Um, probably two fourth levels by the end of all of this. Considering it's a three room charge, not a four room charge now. Box of Friends. It was a two room charge. Then they nerfed it to a four room charge. Then they buffed it to a three room charge. Kind of interesting how they, uh, they went through the cycles with that to be honest. The, the, the very much uh, were undecided on where the power ranking should sit. I actually think three is a pretty good power ranking, really. I think two made Lilith a lot more fun, but three is a bit more fair, a bit more balanced. She's meant to be a harder character, so I can I can get behind that. Even though I don't really like Lilith in the normal modes, I think she can be quite difficult to play as, especially those first few floors because she doesn't have great HP. Hey, there you go, an achievement, easy. Easy achievement there, and that is not normally an easy achievement to get without using a um, potato peeler, so very happy to have that one this early on. It's normally ach an achievement. I remember Rebirth, that always used to be one of the achievements that eluded me for so long. Um, but now that is not the case. Very much not the case. Uh, so we're not going to use uh, another um, box of friends here, we just don't need to. I'd rather keep my charge for the next floor. Uh, once we've got one um, baby boy... We're doing okay. The one thing you do got to worry about is the fact that when you get to, when you get to greed, you don't get all these pops of your um, active item. Nowhere near as many. So I'm gonna buy this and should I buy Harlequin Baby? Yeah, it's it's a buddy. I think we should. Oh, three dollar bill would have been amazing though. Um, and okay, that's pretty good. And that lets us get $3 bill. That's pretty awesome. But now we don't need to buy keys anymore. That's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. The animated items. So cool. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I forgot to do the last wave. I'm stupid. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We should be fine. I, I, I don't know how I forgot to do the last wave there, but I did. Okay, I'm really wanting to take out these guys first. There we go. But $3 bill should supplement our damage really nicely here. We don't need damage ups anymore to do a lot of damage. So that should work out just fine. And we ended up getting a not too hard boss here. And we're about to get an angel deal too, which I'm very, very happy about. Okay. You just do your thing, fella. There you go. We'll take out these little guys. Hopefully we can get like car battery or something. Or something just beautiful from here. Um... 
this is kind of a hard one. Trinity Shield is really good, but I don't think it works very well against Greed himself. So I think just going for that is going to be better. Um, let's head on down to the next floor. We have three coins, which means we can get into our item room very easily here. Very, very nice indeed. I guess the YouTube description will keep the rules too. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Hey, that's pretty good. Knockout drops. I like it. And booster pack could be good. We got a question mark card. Okay, question mark card is really, really good here. Um, doubles our keys. Doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, we did get a hero font card here as well, which is awesome. Tower and another tower. The question mark card here is really nice. We can get an extra use on the actual greed fight itself, which I feel is pretty useful. Oh, look, it's Carl Pilkington. <laughs> um, this shop isn't particularly good. I'm probably just going to leave this one as is. That's actually two really good. I, I really like both of these. That's Carl Pilkington, and that's um, that's the plank from Ed Ed and Eddie. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, how is everyone doing today? How is everyone doing today? Is everyone good? Okay, not a great first wave there. But I am I'm liking having three dollar bill here. That's really really nice. Really really nice indeed. I think there is another enemy lurking around here. Hey, buddy in a box as well. We are getting a lot on a lot of uh, random secret unlocks here. I quite like that. Honestly, Harlequin Baby's better than I would have imagined. I didn't think it'd be that worthwhile, but it's proving to be pretty good. Okay, this is slightly annoying for um, a few reasons, but the knockback is the biggest one. Okay, one wave that's just troll bombs. I made a mod that edited the greed and greedier mode waves, and I, I completely removed those troll bomb waves, because they're just dumb. I just didn't like them at all. But yeah, as you can see, we are killing real fast right now. Like like I said, you've just got to remember that you've you've got to you got to account for the fact that we don't get this many uses of our active item in the boss fight. But I honestly think one decent damage upgrade will kind of completely cure our worries here. Or at least I hope it should. Let's remember to do this this time. Now, we might get a devil deal here. Ooh, okay. We could get an item out of him, but I'm just going to take the money myself rather than letting him get an item. I did kind of forget that he could do that, to be honest. Um, there's that angel deal. Nice. Um, I think I think a damage up is better than flight and spectral here, honestly. I can't imagine flight and spectral being too good. I'm doing fine. What will you tell? I'm good. I'm just a bit ill. Uh, like the troll on waves because they can clear out bad waves. They can. I just feel like sometimes you're just in like a really bad position when it activates. And it causes some funky stuff. Okay. Uh, speed plus range. It's not really good enough, is it? I'll go for one more roll. Uh, it's just... I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. It's not a very good play, but I'm going to try it. Actually, this is a good play because we can do um, the question mark card. Activates your space right for free. Should I do this? Do you reckon? Do, do you reckon I should do this? Or do you reckon I should keep the question mark card for uh, thingy? Do it in cash room, I think. Good idea. Good idea. So we do that. Lump of coal and nine lives. I'll take nine lives. It's a little risky, but I'll take it. Uh, honestly, lump of coal is pretty decent. I don't, I don't dislike it at all. It's a bit of a shame that we didn't get from the pool that um, didn't get from the pool that I wanted to get from. But I think otherwise, that's not a bad roll. That's not great. That is very good. More fire. It's always going to be nice. Um, ooh, Intruder's pretty nice here as well. Okay, we definitely need more HP, though. At the minute, our HP's pretty sucky. We really need to be not getting hit, like, at all until, uh, until the end boss. Otherwise, we are going to be in a pretty sore situation. I don't know if there's any of those laser dudes up top that is not good. That would have been scary if there were. Okay. 
Just keep it calm, keep it safe. Lump of coal is actually helping a lot here. A lot and a lot. God damn, I hate it when you end up knocking about all the uh, the laser firing guys. It scares the shit out of me. Okay, nice. What we got here? Okay, it's only double sloth. I thought it was triple for a moment, but it's only double. Yeah, as long as we can get our HP up a little bit, I think we're going to be okay here. Another solid angel deal would go a long way as well. Okay, fire mine could make this a bit tricky, so let's be careful. Okay, the brimstone beam's coming out. Nice one, we got him. Oh my god. Okay, this is much more of an annoying boss. And on top of that, we got a really bad proc on our $3 bill for a, for a brief moment there. Just take them out one at a time. Just basically try and ignore the rest of them. Ah, we got hit once. It's not good. It's really, really hard to actually see where any of their bosses are and bosses' tiers are right now, I've got to admit. Okay. Good, good. Devil deal. Ah, this is not great, but... Ah, I don't know what to do here. Should have popped tower in the shop. You're probably right there. I should have done. Um. Yeah. I don't really know what to do here. Because that's a big ask for either of these two. But they're really, really costly. And the thing is, we're on Womb. We'd only have two floors to regain. Um, We'd only have two floors to regain all of the HP we need. And the thing is as well, nine lives teleports you back outside of the fight. Get the Black Heart. I mean, I might as well take the Black Heart now. You're right. Uh, what do you think? Eye of the Occult, is it worth it? Because it's only a damage up. It's not... Yeah, I suppose that I suppose the robes is worth it because it does put us back up to the right amount of HP. Let's just take the robes and go. Um, I'm gonna take the intruder because I think it counts as a familiar. Otherwise, I think we're just good to go. I think this time now we're just gonna buy soul hearts. We're gonna hope for hope, hope for soul hearts in the shop and just buy a bunch of soul hearts. Ooh, that is that is saucy. Oh, HP, that's good. I don't think I'll be taking Stranger Tractor. It only counts after it jumps, yeah, but I am likely to get hit on the fight at least once. So let's try and roll for, um, actually, let's uh, crack this open first. Magic 8-Ball, not bad. Shot speed isn't terrible. A card, that's actually pretty good, because I was just going to buy a bomb, so that saves me from doing that. Uh, should I just bomb this, or should I put some money into it? I think, actually, no, I'm going to bomb this, because we've got keys. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. That's really good, too. Okay. I think we want to put some money into it first. Try and get a soul heart here. Did get the clicker. We could use the clicker. We are allowed, but it's probably not the best idea. We could buy Mongo Baby as well. Mongo Baby would take on Thingy Baby, though. I don't think... Would Mongo even be that good? Because it'd just take on Harlequin Baby. Or would it take an Incubus? Anyways. Okay, we got some Brimstone Ghosts. Oh god, we got a lot of Brimstone Ghosts. It's not what you like to see. Okay, good. Don't know where any of the rest of the enemies are. Okay. This fucking thing. Stop. Oh, what the hell? Sister Viz Wave? No. Sister Viz Wave? No, thank you. Thank God. It's such a horrible wave to get. <laughs> such a horrible wave to get. Oh, my God. Brimstone Ghosts again. I think I got one of them, but not the second. Yes, there's the second. Good. Thank God I clocked onto that. Okay, this is the worst version of Blur, I think. 
I was hoping it'd get gotten us a soul heart on one of those fires there, but not so lucky apparently. The adversary's coming in. I did manage to dodge that, and I don't really know how. This is an annoying adversary fight just because of the knockback, but we dealt with it. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad at all. I really don't think we should get hit at all here. Basically, all we've got to do is keep our distance and we should be absolutely fine. Because as soon as we knock his head around, he dies so fast, yeah. Unfortunately, of course, we're stuck on the devil deal path now. This is a tricky one. I don't think I'm going to take either, even though it is good. I don't think I'm going to take it either because I need the HP quite desperately. We'll take Mongo Baby. Mongo Baby cycles, okay. I didn't actually know that. Um... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bomb now and see what I get after the bomb. Oh ho ho there was car battery, but we did get magic mush, so I can't complain. <laughs> I was gonna complain, but then I saw magic mush. I can't complain with when when I get magic mush. Car battery would have been pretty amazing though. But really, I can't complain. <laughs> we should be pretty much set to go here. We got a lot of HP now. Um hey, look at this dude. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I think I think shop-wise, we're probably done. We probably just want to leave our money for donating, maybe. Um, we'll just see how this goes. Just make sure we have an actual charge for um, for Greed himself. For Ultra Greed, the big fatty. Try not to get hit too much on this floor. We should be fine. Wait, wait, does Mongo Baby cycle between every baby or was that just them all piling up there? Because they, they were kind of acting like uh, King Baby then. That was weird. I've not seen that happen before. Maybe they were just all like in one place and they weren't moving because they were all so close to each other. Oh God, you got close. <laughs> Can these hands come down? Oh my God, what the fuck? What the fuck was even that? Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to keep our charges now. Oh, for fuck's sake, the frail. Hello. That's a lot of frails. Can we calm down with all the frails? My lord. My good sweet Jesus. What the heck's going on here? What on earth is this? That was insane. Um, I think I'm going to take this. I think we need the damage. Leech is good, but I'm not going to take it, I don't think. Leech is a bit more damage, I guess. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. Um... Let's go for a bomb and just see if we get anything really good. Unfortunately not. Let's just get going then. Health isn't the best here, but it should be enough to get the job done. Should be enough to get the job done, I think. Just don't get hit on this room, please. Had one of them charmed for a minute there. Okay. Good. -er. Nice bit of extra money to use on the fight here. <laughs> I always like uh, these fights because they, they get to sh you get to showcase a ton of the new keepers. Okay, only one doors opening here. In fact, no doors are opening. Wow, they they stayed around for a while. So basically, three dollar bill rotations are going to be our best friend here. If we get good three dollar bill rotations, we should be fine. Um, there's a few bad ones that we can get, uh, but there's a few really, really good ones we can get. But you can, you can see already that we're, uh, we're kind of demolishing him, and we haven't even been hit yet. We should be fine. We should be able to donate a good amount of money here as well. Probably all 52, to be honest. Maybe even more if we, uh... Yes, please. Give me a bit more money, maybe. I know that this does heal him, by the way, but honestly, that's fine, because we can just farm more money. 
farming up the money. Farming up the money. Okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous now. Little bit ridiculous. Could you stop shitting out just so many kids? He likes the keys, doesn't he? He likes the keys. He gets the bombs in there as well. And we're able to farm up a good amount of money from him here. Just let him heal. He is taking a lot of the coins, to be honest. But we're getting enough. We've managed to gain like 10 cent out of this item, so... I'd say success. There you go, he's dead. <laughs> Box of friends unlocked. We have 7 cent in there now. Special hanging keeper, boys. Nice. Wooden nickel. Nice. And Kane Nell's Hull's Paperclip. That's a really good unlock. Okay, nice. Very easy win there to start us off. Very easy win indeed. Um, Who should we go for next then, do you think? Who should we go for next? Judas and Eve are both pretty scary. Kane, we could do Kane, but we, we only have, um, we already have Mum's Heart on Kane. So, I don't know about that one. We could do it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool mod, isn't it, Jackola? A lot of people are asking for Kane. I say a lot of people. Two people so far. <laughs> um, if people want to see Kane, I'll go for Kane. I don't... Like, I'm not... I'm not obsessed with, like, getting quick progression here. So, let's just go Kane. <laughs> I don't... I don't mind the, the progression being a bit slower. Hey, thank you very much. What's the mod list? Um, oof. I have no idea. Uh... I can, I can link my, my Steam collection to you. I'll, that's probably the best way to do it. Um, but off the top of my head, I have uh, Better Bomb Impacts, uh, the Tainted Character 2.0 names. Um, I have Item Room Yagoon. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm too busy talking to chat. Um, yeah, anyways, I'll, I'll go through it. I'll go through it. Don't worry. <laughs> Item room, you goon. Let's have a look what we get. Hey, <laughs> eight inch nails. Awesome. There you go, Jim Bong. Thank you very much. There's actually three collections, but there's, uh, I don't know if you can link all of those, Jim Bong. So this is a one run. This is a very good run. We need HP before it's a one run. But at the minute, I'm only using the cosmetic mods within those ones. I've disabled any that aren't cosmetic. These, This is, while we're playing the uh, thingy here, it's purely cosmetic. Oh, that's an awesome item. Yes. <laughs> this is a great item. I like it. Bomb here? I'm just gonna use my normal bomb here and use my Mr. Boom for the boss fight. That makes me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You're done now. We could also try and get boss rush on this run as well. Hey, thank you very much. There's all three of my uh, collections that I use. As I said, at the minute, I am only playing with, uh, very good, very good indeed. I'm only playing with, um, the visual mods of those ones at the moment, because that is the rules, but otherwise, that's the mods that I use in my main series. I do update it regularly as well. I keep it up to date whenever I add new mods, and I do add new mods fairly regularly, so. Good, good, good. Hey, the virus. I can't believe the virus is quality zero. <laughs> 
secret room to the side of this room. Is that what people are thinking? Hey. Nice one. Good call on that. Good call on that. Yeah, that was a pretty obvious one, to be fair. You're right. Okay, Blood Clot with this is so good. We're getting seven damage plus two on each shot. That's insanely good. On each other shot, should I say. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You tricky bastard. Don't worry, though. We got a soul heart back. <laughs> Had to try it. See if I could get anything good. Considering we're so close to being able to use, utilize the shop this floor. Very much would like a fire upgrade now, though, because popping these poops is a bit slow. Nice animated mic keeper. Honestly, the mods that add all these, like, new keepers and stuff and animated items and stuff, they're just so fucking cool. They're such good additions to the game. Like, look, look at that. Look how cool that is. Look how cool that is. Okay, very much wish I would have saved my bomb for this fight because this is a really annoying fight. But we do have the damage to probably annihilate here. It's just the amount of fucking dips this guy can create. Oh my god, we have so much knockback. Yeah, look, look at this. Stupid. If we didn't have the damage we did right now, this would be a, a bit more scary. Honestly, a speed upgrade with this speed is awesome. We are just flying right now. I love it. Take the pill you have luck for. Ah, oh, bollocks. You're right, I do. I always forget that. I'm so used to the Aftermath Plus ways. You're right. Please do remind me in the future if I skip pills because I am going to keep forgetting that. <laughs> yeah, exactly they do. Shady's right. The, the, the Them dips, it's not about the fact that they that they hurt you. They just they take up so much of the room. There's so much less place to, uh, space to play in. Wait, what? Didn't check Deal the Devil. Why? Um, no, I, I didn't check it because I'm going for an angel deal. If you don't go into the devil deal, you get a guaranteed angel chance on the next floors. That was a change with repentance. It's not like the next time you... It's not like the next floor you're going to get a guaranteed angel, but the next time you get a deal, it'll be guaranteed to be an angel. It's very, very useful. Oh! Oh! That's a bit of money right there. That is a bit of money right there. Don't know why I even tried that. That was so dumb. I like tried to put my bomb in there, but I just kind of balls it up a little bit. Okay. Keep you aware. Good, good. Really need a bit more HP here. Hey, totally excited for the new Spider-Man movie? Relatively, yeah. I watched I watched back through the uh, Far From Home just recently. Uh, like, a few days ago. It's good shit. It's good shit. So, I'm, I'm, I am looking forward to it a bit, yeah. I Tails actually got invited to the red carpet event. Yes, I did. You know me. Oh, for God's sake. That barely hit him. It's kind of weird how, like, the thing that isn't the boss is the most threatening thing in this room. No angel deal, unfortunately. You get a card here, though. It's just a fool card. Hopefully the item room this floor serves us something decent. I really would like spectral at the minute. That's kind of my next thing. Tears, actually, is probably more so important. Just play this nice and slow. No rush on this room at all. What on earth? I think I hit the wrong dude. I wasn't aiming at that, that one. I just hit him by accident. Take it slow and I get hit anyways. <laughs> Gotta try it for the Mega Mush. Magic Mush even, should I say. Imagine if Mega Mush could spawn in mushrooms as well. That'd be mental. Okay, shop is super valuable for us here. Let's check it. Yep, I'll take mapping, 100%. I'll actually buy the pill as well because we actually kind of do need range. That's pretty good. Uh, fool and Fool, awesome. 
Final event to a stream. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Every Tuesday and Saturday, 8.30 UK time. It's stream time. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is a room I do not like the look of. But we got it. Any inkling on secret room, people? Any inkling on secret room? Okay, got all of them in one fell swoop. And two of them in one side of this room. Okie dokie. <laughs> look through these keepers, they're great. Look at him. It's the cereal dude. Yeah, honestly, Isaac's secret rooms are actually pretty predictable. More so than you'd think, but it, it is really nice when you get it down. And I, I, like you said, I'm sure Monolith has trained you well for that. Oh, for God's sake, I need to be really careful here. I'm taking way too much dumb damage. Bye! <laughs> Ain't no fucking way I'm touching that shit. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen it as well. Gotta be honest. Right, we are in a really, really bad spot HP-wise for this late on in the game. Really bad spot. Oh my god! Can you give me a good item for my item room, please? I know I got nine inch nails, but like that was the last thing half decent I got. Please, game, come on. I've had like three zero quality items. I know that virus technically doesn't really count, but st still, it's like, come on now. At least we got a soul heart here. I can I can maybe understand that, but it's still, it's not something I'm worth it's worth risking this room for. Honestly, I can't be arse destroying all of these. Just basically looking for the shop really here. Oh no, oh no, oh no! This is a room I'm about to get hit in. Actually, we might be okay now. I've killed that dude. Okay, we're good. Oh, tight room. Oh my god. These are some really awful rooms we're coming across right now. And I need more health. Please don't lose Kane. Kane should be an easy one. I died uh, to try the Nuzlocke challenge along with the rest and died my first games. <laughs> Back to my normal save. Oh no. That was good. Still haven't had an angel deal yet, so I'm really hoping we can get it this floor. Okay, just take it slow. Calm it down. I'm pretty sure this is our shop next to us here. Pills, glorious pills. Another ranger. Tears up, yes! We've needed that for a while. Oh, a nickel as well. Awesome. Please give me a soul heart in here. Be so good. Golden key's nice as well. Or just give us a boss. Ah, it missed. God damn it. And it's a really bad keeper as well. He barely gives us any money there. Very upsetting. Very upsetting. I need a soul heart so bad. I'm literally destroying poops in the hope for a soul heart right now. Oh, secret room on this floor? What do you think? Room to blow up shopkeepers for the money. If they have coins in their eyes, I will, but otherwise it's not worth it. Actually, both of these do, so you are right. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? That can happen? I don't think I've ever seen that happen. My lord. God damn. Well, we got a lot of money. Yeah, secret room, what do you think? Where do we think? 
Let's, let's go back and have a little look, see. <laughs> Could be here, right? Oh god, this is a suit between the the vault and sack room. Ooh, it could be, yeah. Let's try it. Nah, sadly not. Other side. It could be a lot of places here, to be honest. It could be down this way as well. It could be like, yeah, it could be here. Not a fan of this room. Yeah, I want to. I want to make sure I have a Mr. Boom um, charge for my boss. <laughs> hey, my day's going pretty decently. I'm just a little bit ill, is all. Otherwise, I'm pretty good. Thank you, Axolotl. Let's just do our boss fight, and then we'll, we can think about exploring later. Okay, that's good. Okay, the knockback should actually be decent enough here to keep him away from me. Good, good, it was. Angel deal, please. You bastard, game. You bastard. Do you know what? I've only got one bomb. Let's just go. <laughs> I actually caught one of them IRL. Yes, that's what's happened to me here. I'm, this is bad because now we're in a really tough spot for angel deal. Like, we could easily, easily lose at this floor. And we need it pretty fucking badly. Oh my god. I'm glad that a lot of the community is getting involved with the Nuzlocke. That's fun. <laughs> ah, I thought that might be secret room. Please die. Please die. Eternal heart. That's it's good. That's good. Can't take it yet, but that's good. Okay. Goodbye, Angel Deal. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. Okay, we might be okay here, actually. This went better than expected. My god. Again, goodbye angel deal. It's been nice. Hope you find your paradise. Fuck sake. These are some bad rooms. I don't even know why I went in this room. It was stupid. Really? He managed to reform? Can you stop reforming, please? We're gonna lose Ken. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. We're going to lose Kane. I think this is a loss. We haven't had anywhere near enough health to keep this going. And we're getting just the worst rooms ever. What is this? What is this? Why does this room exist? Please, game. Have mercy on me. Fucking goddamn! I'm fair. I'm. I have to say, I'm like a good like 30, 40 percent sure that we're gonna lose Kane here. Like it's not like a definite, but I can really feel the the loss coming. Like we just we have no HP, and it is Necro One. It's Necro One, and we have two hearts. Where the fuck's all my soul hearts, game? Where the heck's all my soul hearts? <laughs> it's just frustrating.
This is just like, it's a good run, but we just, we've just gotten no HP. Whoa, that was close. We've just gotten no HP whatsoever. We still need to find our item room as well. I'm hoping, yeah, I've got to say, I'm hoping it's here. Are you fucking kidding me? Just remember we've got that uh, card if we need to use it in a dire situation. Any room with these things just hurts my it hurts my brain. Ah! What the fuck is this bullshit? Give me some good items, you absolute cock of a game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you want to give me the worst rooms in existence? Because that's what you're fucking giving me right now. How did that hit me? Oh my god. Do 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 Keeper is gone. Uh not keeper, Kane is gone. That's good. We can take this pill as well because it's a range upgrade, we know it. Fuck me. Another range upgrade. Hey, thanks, I guess. Hey guys, can we keep the chat to British, please? Or British, you know what I mean. English. British, what am I about? You know what I mean. You gotta speak British. Skull go boom. <laughs> um. Well, this is gonna be horrible. Okay, that didn't miss. Good. <laughs> oh, no, that hit me. I've gotta use this. Okay, so that's our 35% energy chance gone. This run's doomed. This run's so doomed. Where the hell are all the soul hearts? I feel like I've not really been hit on soul heart health that much. I just haven't got any. And also, this is another boss where we're just going to get a useless piece of turd. Cube of meat isn't good, of, isn't, isn't good for us at all. But, but bandage girl, whatever. Oh, God. All right, let's go get our eternal heart. This is a trash run. This is a super, super, super trash run. How was a run that started out with 9 inch nails this bad? Where is all my HP? I will take the full card, don't worry. <laughs> I can do that on the next floor. It's fine. Right. We're likely to die on the womb, I'd say, at the minute. The Eternal Heart helped, but, like, really not enough. Not even close to enough. There's too many things going on in these rooms. Stop getting scared and farting everywhere. Okay. Keep them knocked back. Chest in a chest. Lots of bombs. Good. Secret room could be here. Indeed it is. Although, getting loads of money, and when has any of our shops helped us, really? I can feel the damage incoming in this room. Yes, that was good. That felt good. Good. Oh my god. This is scary, people. This is very scary. Also, what is with all these rooms? We're getting a lot of rooms that are very much like this. I'm not, I'm not gonna complain for now because they're not too hard, but still it's weird.
Oh my god. Sun card is better than a fool card for right now. Yeah, I'm on I'm on honestly that's probably what I'm gonna do. Okay, some HP, nice. Also, I'm gonna bomb like here and see what I get. Nothing! Yay! Nothing! Yay! <laughs> oh my lord, this run. It pains me so. I don't really want to get that bomb, to be honest. But I did. Okay, these are the jumper boys. Oh god, this is this is a room for taking damage if I've ever seen one. Yep! Goodbye, Angel Deal! Goodbye again, goodbye again, because we keep getting these fucking difficult rooms. Soul Heart in the shop? No. Honestly, no. Give me that. Donate the rest of my money. Buy the card as well. It's a devil. It's terrible. Fuck the devil card. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you've got to be fucking teasing my fucking bum all right now. These are some terrible rooms. Holy shit. What is going on with these rooms? Give me some rooms that have some decency, please. These are awful. Some of the worst enemies in the game. Fuck you. God damn Edmund, you big old bitch. I'm so upset right now. This is such a dumpster fire of a run. I'm so salty. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Excuse my soul, but it is warranted. Remember when we said one run? Remember that time when we said one run? Super secret room to the north. Don't stop. Nice. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ooh, that's that's nice. That's nice. I like that. You, you bomb. Your foot's so fucking slow. The bomb missed. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm very happy that this is slowed down, but that was really annoying. That was a lot of damage completely wasted there. <laughs> Can't even use Cuba meat anymore. Because that tactic doesn't work anymore. Grrr. What's with all the terrible enemy spawns? Go away. Squeezy! Oh my god, a good item! It can't possibly be. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe it. The Squeeze Meister. Oh, lovely. Lovely. A small room full of lumps. I definitely won't get hit in here. He says, knowing he won't get hit in here. Boy. We just doubled the amount of soul hearts you've got all run. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. This game's mean. Oh, ha! Oh, yes! Yes! The prophecy! I didn't even see that tinted rock. Fuck yes! Fuck yes! I don't know where they came from, but I'm so fucking happy. And here we go to lose them. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What a horrible room this is. Oh my god. You watch us get a sped up mum's heart or something, or sped up Mama Gary or Sister Viz or something crazy.
This cane run's going to be literally for nothing. The only thing we'll have achieved this cane run is donating. Can you guys... Can you fucking stop? <laughs> can you stop, please? Thank you. Skolex, my baby. Skolex, my baby. Skolex, my baba. Skolex, my ragtime gal. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. That was some chunky damage on Skolex there. Chunky. Parasites can have parasites. Oh my. Oh my. What is this? This white door. I've never seen something so beautiful in my life. Oh my god. Oh my lord. It's good sweet heaven above. Oh my god. The white door. The prophecy has been fulfilled. And then we get this room. The fuck is this, Edmund? Do you... Are you tickling my turn? What is that? What is that? A blessing from the Lord above. Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Oh, he's done it again! He's done it again! Didn't even see the tinted rock. And two spirit hearts pop out of it. Just randomly bombing rocks to kill enemies. And he fucking spawns spirit hearts out of nowhere. The absolute turnaround of this run. The absolute turnaround of this run. It went from the biggest dumpster fire the world has ever seen to the best recovery known to mankind <laughs> i can't believe he's done it he really has done it he really has done it unfortunately we probably won't be able to go and do um satan because we probably won't get a, a deal with the devil here. But if we do, I will do certain. I think we're ready. I think this run has turned itself around enough for me to take its blessing. Even though that damage really isn't that good. Considering it's 17. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I finally got hit. Like, we're not killing things that fast. We're really not. But we'll see. We got a devil deal. Let's do it. <coughs> Oopsie. Coughs. I'm sorry. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. The knockback is so nice on these enemies. You can literally just knock them back into changing direction. Can I get all four of these by bombing here? I can. Good to know. Didn't, didn't pay out at all. But this is a double sized room so I thought I'm going to get my charge back so why not. Turn the hell around, boy. Might as well try it again. Ah, fuck. We get a magician card, which is not really as worthwhile as a sun card, I've got to admit. Oh, brimstone ghost. Do you know, I don't like... I, I do like the fact that the brimstone ghosts tell her, uh, like, sort of show you that they're in the room. But why can't you hit them when they pop in? You should be able to hit them when they pop in. Yera. Oh, baby. Um, can I do anything with this Yera? Go kill Satan. <laughs> Play the sack room and sun to heal. Yeah, but then I'll only have four hearts. Yeah, Strafe, are you mental? 
Are you mental? I'll have to get rid of all of my soul hearts and then I'll double four chests that all cost red hearts to buy the items. I'll have nothing. There is no way I'm doing sack room play here. No way. That is such a bad play. <laughs> okay, well, this is a sped up room, so just take it take it easy. I don't believe these do these dudes do contact damage, do they? There you go. Of course this was the wrong way. Why would why wouldn't it be? Of course this was the wrong way. I'll see if there's anything that's worth yarrowing later. That was not what I wanted to do at all there. Okay, that didn't work out really, did it? Two golden chests, probably not worth it, I don't think. Ugh. Horrible room here. Two more ghosts, I think. Good, good. I could sun card and try and play this for a um, blood bag, but I don't think we have blood bags unlocked yet, so that, that play doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I think it's too risky too. Uh, if you play, if you get the, the soul payout on the dark room, yeah, if I do. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Let's fight this Murpho. One, two, three. Good, good. We've really got to not get hit here because otherwise we lose half our damage. Okay, we lost half our damage before the real fight even began. What the fuck are you doing, you absolute nincompoops? Calm down. <clears throat> oh my god. He's he's absolutely whiffing, boys. He's absolutely whiffing. Okay, we should be fine. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just get him to step on the leeches. How did that hit me? Satan! Dude! Stop! I needed this health. Maybe. Okay. So now we go back. We can bomb this as well real quick. Nah, nothing. Got a soul heart there as well. And a soul heart there as well. Oh, baby. Right, so. Let's go do this. One. Two. Oh, wait a minute. Probably should have done that in this floor to get the heart as well. Or I could have just yarrowed all of the uh, health. Mm, that would have worked too. Three. Four, five, six. Wait, no, this is six. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I got caught on him. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Scared the ever living shit out of me, it did. I did get the seven soul heart payout. I did get it. I probably should have left the soul hearts out there on the floor, really. So that would put me up to... Right. 
Why do they keep spawning at the door? I just want to get out of here. I'm going to have to sacrifice one of these now. This was a bad idea. Should have saved the Yero for this. You are completely correct in that assessment. That would have been a way better way of doing this. Wait, so now I've... Hmm. Pop the sun. Grab my other sun card. Might as well go to our secret room right here. I've definitely done this wrong. I'm not very happy with my HP at the minute. <laughs> I'm going to try th twice. I'm going to try twice. If I don't get teleported in two teleports, I'm quitting. Okay, we got it. We got it. Crap. Meh. Crap. Nine lives. Okay. I don't think we take nine lives, do we? Okay, so at least we know the way to the boss, or at least pretty sure of the way to the boss. If we can get some items along the way with our two luck, that'd be great. This is a really horrible room right here. Lots and lots of brimstone ghosts. Take them all out first. No, I got hit. Fuck me, you big bitch. I, I really hate Monstro 2 as a boss. I'm really bad at fighting him. It's the flies that he spawns. The, the always... I know when they come. Like, I can predict them fairly easily. I'm just really bad... Oh, for God's sake. Really bad at dealing with them. I'm really bad at knowing, like, when he's going to brimstone, too. Just stop spawning the flies, you big dick. Like, I actually think this was a pretty big mistake, to be honest. I don't think we have the damage output without Crown of Light to really do this. And if we take much more damage than we've already taken here, this is going to be real bad. I want to bait out a laser, but he's just not cooperating at all. And he finally does a laser in a bad position. Okay, there you go. Alright, see you later, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, hopefully we get a slowdown on the lamp fight as well. That'd be really nice. Trying to blow off these leeches directly on top of them, yes. Because it does good damage. You spawned those too, you little dick. Good to know. Did not know he spawned those. Or did not remember, at least. There's a lot of things I say I don't know. It's more that I don't remember. I probably do know. <sighs> Imagine a sped up one. I don't think it can speed up m major bosses. How? I got hit there, and I, I don't really know how. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm, I, think we're, I, I think we're doomed. I think I lost Kane here. I think I made a major mistake. We're just getting some really bad boss fights. Oh, my God. Die! Fuck's sake, die! Oh, my God. How are you not dead yet? Stop spawning stuff. Leave me to fight you on your own. It's 1v1, mate. One, you little fucking precious bitch boy. How are you going to tell me that's fair? Stop spawning things and fight me 1v1, bro. Oh, my God. Is this double gish? It is good. I can deal with double gish as long as I know where they are. As long as I see them jumping, which so far I am. Just focus on one first. 
I don't know which one's which at the minute, so just keep firing at one. Kind of wish they had separate health bars, to be honest, but it's a bit of a pipe dream, I think, isn't it? Come on! Okay, there you go. Oh, God! He jumped right on top of me, then. Okay, this is the lamb. I am going to use this on these dudes, because I think it's more important to get the damage out on these guys. Yes, there you go. Are you kidding me? What just hit me? Bro, please try a mod. What? What does that even mean? Oh <gasps> my god. Alright, see you later, Chakola. You can spam bombs on the lamb fight. Yes, I can. I still think the lamb fight's really difficult, though. We do have a sun card going in here. These are the attacks that I am always a bit cautious of because I don't really know how to dodge them properly. Okay, I think we've got this. Can you believe? Can you believe this was the run? This was the run we beat the lamb on. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was the run. And guess what? Can you guess what's happened here? Let's see if that counted, shall we? Because if it didn't, I will be bringing it up with the board. <laughs> I'll be, uh, I gotta say, I might still have the unlocks. We'll see. If I don't, I'm sure the guys will let me just, like, cheat them in. Okay, I, I got the unlocks. Good. Oh! Ho ho ho! We got the unlocks, cool. And we kept our streaker going. Good, good! That was, that was scary. That made me poop my pants a little bit there. But we did indeed get our first kill. Right. <laughs> that was an emotional roller coaster run. It really was. The salt was the salt was building. The salt was bubbling in that run. My god it was. Um do we go Judas now? Do we try doing Judas or do we try doing Eve? Judas is always a weird one for me. Because the thing is, literally, if you get a really bad first room, you are fucked. Like, if you get a really, like, champion-heavy first room with spiders and shit, you're just done. You're dead. Like, there's, there's just no way around it. Ah, see you later, Strafe. It's been nice having you. I can't believe the game, then. Absolute rebel of a game. Do I like bananas? I do. I do like bananas. <sighs> um... What do we want to do? Hey, thank you for the follow, Blizz Blizz. Thank you for the follow indeed. Who should we play as next, people? Who should we play as next? Oh my god, that one was a right roller coaster of emotions, that was. We need to do Judas, Eve, and Lilith for the heart. Judas, Eve, and Lilith. I'm going to refill my drink real quick while you guys decide. Just leave comments in the, uh, well, whatever, reply. Whatever you want.
I am back. Turning the fan up because it is getting sweaty. Okay, we've got, um... <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Lilith or Eve. Scary Judas. Scared for Judas. Yeah, I am too. Go Judas. You're right. Could be better with the right unlocks. I think go Judas once you can do the beast ending. Eve then. Okay. It's Eve time. Eve can be really, really tough early on because she has very low damage. But we're going to jump in and see if we can get something good going on with Eve here. We've essentially just got to hope for the best. She starts with pretty piss poor stats. So just play slow. Play methodically. Try and get every advantage we can. Um, and if we do that, we should be able to get away with a, a half decent run. Hopefully our first item room contains something that isn't complete garbage. That last run, after that first item room, every single item room was complete trash. I was actually, I, I recorded a, um, a Eden run today. And you'll be asking, Turtle, why are you recording videos while you're ill? It relaxes me, okay? The, my voice probably sounded shitty. Okay, that's a quality three? What the heck? I suppose it's not actually that bad of an item, to be honest, but didn't know it was quality three. Um, ooh, what the hell? Chat paused. Whoopsie. Um, yeah, so, we should be okay here. Um, ooh, we do have a tinted rock there as well. That'd be really nice to grab. Essentially, once we can get permanent, um, what's it called? Permanent Horror Babylon, we're in a really good spot. But until then, it's going to be kind of hard times. Okay. There's a bomb. Awesome. We don't have the razor yet. Diplopia. Very nice. Okay, let's um actually let's let's do this a minute. Nah, we can't we can't push it far enough. Uh via razor, 450 in the greed machine, yeah. So we're gonna go into our cash room here. It's a bit risky because we could get something pretty horrible like this. We we literally can't get hit by this dude. But we can't afford to. Not what I was expecting. This isn't very good. Because if we take if we take this, we can't... Like, we literally can't take either of those. That's annoying. And it reset this guy's HP, so that's great. <laughs> this is scary. This right here is scary. I don't like this enemy with Eve. Our health's too low to be fighting a mofo like this. Okay, good. Oh, that was a bit scary. Deal with the devil teleports annoying because I think that ruins that angel chance for the next floor. We'll grab that though. It's kind of annoying because if I'd have done that the other way around and had the soul heart, I'd love to have grabbed Guppy's head. But unfortunately, not so good for us this time. Not so good for us this time. Anyways, let's keep moving on. believe it doesn't ruin my run yet. Okay. I may have been misinformed. But yeah, now we've got Soul Heart and Horror Babylons activated. We're in a much better spot. Still not a good spot. We really would like at least one more Soul Heart to feel good. But we at least have the damage to and speed to do things now. I am not taking pills at this time. Ooh, ooh, yep. Yeah, okay. I felt that one coming. Okay, so I've taken the red health here, but we kind of had to, so that's whatever. Um, it's a bit annoying because we don't have the razor. Oh, that's slightly annoying. Anyways, we've got a damage up at least. It'll somewhat help out. Okay, um, you might be right. You might be right. Got him. Okay, so hoping for another soul heart here. Hoping for like a few soul hearts and a blood donation machine, ideally. Because then if we could get IV bag, that's like budget razor. In fact, it's better razor, to be honest. I'd actually really want one now that there's that many hearts on the floor, to be honest. 
<laughs> Not ruined happened to me earlier. Okay, great to know. Thank you, Shady. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. But I've eaten carrot cake. I have. I love carrot cake. Carrot cake's the best. I haven't had carrot cake in a really long time, though, to be honest. Um, high chance for angel deal. I don't think we really need that right now. Bit of an odd room here. Shouldn't be too hard, though. <laughs> yeah, now we have a tiny bit more damage. At least it's at least a little more acceptable for us to not be in Horror Babylon. Before it was outright horrible. Just, if we can get, like... Give us, like, um, Binky or something from our boss here. That would that would solve a lot of our issues. We do have a black heart in here, but we don't have a bomb to get it at the moment. We'd very much like a bomb to get that. That would th make things a lot easier for us. There you go. Are you kidding me? You have two trinkets lost. I do, you're right. I forgot about that. I'm very annoyed at that. I'm very, very annoyed at that. If we don't get a key for our item room and another bomb for that thing, I'm going to be super annoying. Super annoyed because I had a plan. I had a plan. So we got a key for this at least. Three dollar bill. Love three dollar bill. Let's go back and get Rosemary real quick. We should try to make boss rush here, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it too much, to be honest. I did have a plan here though, because we have a hell of a lot of um, a hell of a lot of HP on the floor everywhere. We could have easily played the sack room on this floor if I'd have gotten that black art. I needed that black art. Sad. Um, did you win? I did win it. Yes, we uh, we beat the lamb. I uh, sack room to the lamb, and we beat it the lamb. It was a very close call, but we did it. Oh, no, I got hit. Dead bird, you can just chill for me and do this, because I really hate this room a lot. I got hit. I'm, if I lose my uh, my devil deal here, I'm going to cry a thousand tears. Oh, no. I'm going to be th crying a thousand tears, aren't I? The prophecy has foretold it. Yep. What in the shit is this dude doing? The amount of poops he flings out and the, and the, the, the fucking speeds at which he flings them. It's too much, man. It's too much. Okay, can 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 the game stop spawning the poops, please? I need a break from the poops. Okay, one of them's dead. Are you fucking kidding me? I will strangle an infant child. Fuck you, game. Eh. 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 I'm mad. I'm so fucking mad. Okay, I'm not mad anymore. Oh my god, that was Angie.
That made me angry. I do, Annie Oliver. Annie Oliver. There you go. I do remember you. I would cry a lot if I died <laughs> to that cash room door then. I knew what I was doing though. I was pretty confident I'd be okay. It's, this is a risky play because our health is now kind of low. But <sighs> after losing that devil deal and my, my soul just dying. Absolutely leaving my body and dying. I needed a win. I needed um, the pact with Horror Babylon. Otherwise, I was going to kill an infant. Oh my god. It'll have been the perfect plot twist. God damn. This game's hurting my soul right now. You know it's true. Game do be hurting my soul. <sighs> okay, just stay out the way of that. We got petrified poop, we're destroying all of these if we can. Don't run into the hearts if possible as well. That's bombs at least. Go back to our shop real quick. We're probably not making boss rush here, so I'm just gonna go back on. Oh god. My body is full of salt right now. So salty. That makes me more salty as well. I'm not very happy about that. Not very happy about that. Whew, boy. This is a, a lot of explosives that I am not comfortable with dealing with right now. A lot of explosives indeed. Oh god, oh god, oh god, my brain, my brain. I, for some reason, completely forgot those guys could jump over the gaps of th that were over. Okay, that went way better than it should have done. <laughs> oh, my lord. Um, That's more keys. I don't think we really need that, to be honest. Hey, golden poopy. I like a, the golden a poopy. Oh, I had a nickel drop over there as well. Oh, there was another golden poop. Hell, that's great. Petrified pog. Pog poop. This dude needs to get over here. Dude, 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 just chill. Just chill, just chill, just chill. Just chill. Oh my god, stop running away from me. Hey, hey. Okay, okay. Let's keep this a rolling. Keep this train of rolling. Oh my god. How are you even meant to stop that man from running at you at that speed? I don't even know. It's impossible. Another bomb. HP is definitely in a pretty dire spot right now. What do you guys think to going Devil Deal here? Like, because Eve is pretty decent with Devil Deal. People think I should just go Devil Deal? No. Buy the heart. Why would I buy the heart? I'm Eve. I want. I want to be at low red hearts. I just want. I just need more soul heart health. I'd say peek it. At least check this one. I think. Yeah. Okay. I will.
This boss is a dumpster fire. Peek this bitch. Yeah, 100% worth it. 100% worth it. <laughs> Slim, you're loving those emotes, and I'm loving the fact that you're loving them. <laughs> yeah, that, that was really, really good value, you're right. <laughs> this game sometimes, I know, man. This game do be trolling. Nice. Oh, ha, ha. Yes. The best sight I've ever done seen in my life. Give me that soul heart, bitch. Thank you. There's a lot of hearts on the floor. Um, I'm going to go pl play the blood bank back in the other room. We're not making boss rush at this rate, to be honest. There's only caves too, so... I'm not going to push myself. Just go back over here and we'll play the blood donation machine a little bit. In fact, why not grab the hearts now? Grab them. Helps when I'm working versus typing shit. Yeah, definitely. We got it. We already got it. That's awesome. Okay, this means we get permanent uh, Horror Babylon, which is awesome. Should have, should have used that to play the uh, cash room, to be honest. Let me go and grab the uh, the mom stomp for the boss. Very nice, very nice indeed. Thank you. I'm happy with how this run's going so far. It's going well. Did we get a cast of the maze proc earlier. Looks like it. Didn't even know there's water cast in the maze. Seems like it must be. Good, good. Here's our boss. We haven't seen our item room yet. We'll go back for that first. Whoa. That was me just being ultra dumb there. I just stood right next to that guy as he blew up. Let's go do our item room first. Haven't really been finding secret rooms all that much this run. Should probably try and do that. Um, honestly, the lemonade's decent, but having the ability to stay in uh, thingy horror Babylon is way better. We should also try and find our shop to be honest. We got tons of money. Oh, that was our secret room. Nice. Even more money. I like to see it. I'll buy that, why not? Spider mod can be pretty useful. Not always, but it can be. Hey! Lovely. I'm gonna go into our cash room here. I think it's worth it with the HP we're currently at. In fact, let's go do some stuff here. Let's blow up the blood donation machine. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I'll blow up that as well. And then we can go... Boom. Curse of the Tower. Oh boy. That was stupid. Just ignore the stupidity. Yeah, you, you are completely right. We'll go in it. Jam myself behind this thing. Ah, I didn't quite get to 200. Still not bad. Not bad at all. Take care of the tower. Heck no. When I'm trying to use IV bag, I don't want bombs spawning everywhere. I do have Bob's Care, so it would be decent with that, but I still don't think it's worth it. 
Wow, that's a lot of booger tears. I got booger tears from um, $3 bill and it's just like everything was booger tears. Yes, Mr. Dolly. Awesome. Such a good pickup. Let's keep it going. This is a decent run, boys. This is a decent run. Considering I've got guppy uh, items right now. Hey, I said I wanted spectral. They're spectral. It's annoying that we saw Guppy's head already. And we have Guppy's collar now. We could have been two-thirds Guppy. Yeah, Spectral's something that I feel is, like, underrated in Isaac. Especially on the early floors and, like, caves and stuff. Like, in, in caves, there's so many rocks everywhere. And especially, like, I know that we don't have a lot from this save file, but the alt path. There's a lot and a lot of rocks on the alt path floors. Woo, we got hearts, baby. Oh my god, it's magical. Imagine having health before the womb. It's insane. It is actually insane. $3 bill is carrying right now. Oh, you got to be kidding me, fire mind. I trusted you. Oh, ho, ho, yes, what a great item. What a great item. I love the fact that you can do that with IV bag to get in there without using red hearts. Such a cool little bit of tech. It's not anything like super big brain or anything, but it's just really, really nice that you can take away from the red health before you take away from your soul heart health. Makes going into cash rooms way more viable. Oh! That's so good as well. We don't have any luck at the minute, so it's not great, but... You see what I mean? Still pretty good, even without loads of luck, to be honest. <laughs> he just jumped right into that fire. Wait, did he survive that? Oh my god, he did. Darn. Haven't found our shop yet on this floor. Probably be a nice thing to find. Oh, I love Little Horn. Such a good, sh such a good uh, tier effect. Where is the shop, my lord? Where is the shop? Okay, this 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 run should be pretty good. It's a little annoying that we're pretty much not gonna get um Ooh, also this is definitely a secret room. Um It's pretty pretty sad that we're not gonna get a uh, boss rush, but that's okay. I can accept it. <laughs> We've got so much out of our cash rooms this run. Yeah we have, we really have. You are very right there. I love it when you get really good ass cash rooms. Ooh. Now that we only have one heart, we don't really need our um, our IV bag anymore. But I suppose we can get in cash rooms for free and stuff. Maybe we should keep it. Hmm. Ah, fuck's sake. I just pushed it further. Wasn't worth it anyways. Wasn't worth it anyways. Yeah, Rosary is useless now. It is. It is. But we haven't found another trinket to replace it right now, so I'm not that bothered. Right. Boss time. What up, boss man? I mean, Flatworm is, like, not really worth anything to anyone, though. Like, it doesn't... It has no benefit. It's just visual, pretty much. How did I get hit twice there? I mean, fair play to your fella, but come on now. I guess I'll take it. There's no point to not taking it. Ah, that's just the nail. Uh, Ancient Recall? Okay. Strength. I think we'll take Strength here. What would you add to the game and what does it do? I have no idea. Um... I don't know. The, 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 like, Repentance added a lot of the stuff I'd like to see. The only thing I'd really say to not, not even add is just make Delirium better. 
That's kind of that's kind of the only really big thing like request I have for this game. Hey, welcome back, Chakola. Yeah, the the only like really big request I have of this game or thing that I'd love to see is just make Delirium more fun to fight and more rewarding to go to and have just give him more purpose and make him more fun and less bullshit. Because at the minute he has past completion marks, he has zero purpose, and he's really unfun to fight. Anyone that says he is fun to fight is lying to themselves, honestly. He's just so terrible. For some reason, your name reminds me of Cole. Ooh, now I will take Shoot the Whoop over IV back. Shoot the Whoop is really good damage. <laughs> we have so many, like, random insta-killing fires and shots at the minute. It's great. Do you know what? Fuck you. Wait, can can Shoot the Whoop proc our uh, little horn? I think he's on a streak of... I'm on a streak of 10 at the minute. I just don't think he should teleport at all. I, I, think, I think what would be more interesting is... Um, instead, of, instead of it being the way he is now... I think he should... Oh, God. Oh, it's kind of risky. Uh, I think he should only turn into bosses that you fought already. Which I don't know. Ma that might already be the case. I'm not sure. I don't think it is, though. But um, he can only f uh, change into bosses that you've already fought. Like, that you fought that run. Um, and he changes into them, like, in order. And, like, each one of them has, like... Rather than just the, the, the exact same attack pattern that they all have. They should have, like, beefed up versions of their old attack patterns. And they should, like, turn into them, and it could, it, it's kind of like a mini boss rush of its own, but like a boss rush of harder versions of all the bosses you fought so far. I think that'd be a really interesting way of doing it. It'd be a lot more fun. It'd be like a cool sort of look back at all the bosses you've gone through. Obviously, the ones that you fight on the Delirium floor wouldn't count. Um, I still think, I still think the, uh, the, the idea of having loads of random boss rooms on the Delirium floor and having it be a massive floor is a cool idea. I do think, however, there's a mod called, like, Delirious Void that makes all the enemies and bosses into Delirium-looking versions of themselves. I know it's a lot of work, but I think it'd be a really good idea to add that in and have the enemies have... They don't have to be unique attack patterns, just stronger versions of what they already have. And it's, instead of just having, here's loads of champions, all the enemies are just like... Um... Yeah, all the all the enemies are just kind of like, beefed up versions of themselves. Kind of like the tainted enemies are, but obviously wouldn't have to be quite as much work as that. Um... That is the case. He is your dying vision of the run. It is the case that you fight all the enemies, all the bosses you previously fought. Yeah. I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. I'd never really looked it up. I just, that's kind of what I thought. But I think sticking with that idea, definitely. Um, ooh, one moment. One moment. Ooh, okay. I can check that in a minute. I've got a work message, but I do, I'm not, like, not at work for another, like, ten hours, and I finished, like... A while ago. <laughs> Unless Wiki's lied to me. Wanna become famous? Oh my god. Wanna become banned? Uh, it's not tech support. I am an operations manager for a tech startup in sort of the, like, business streaming sector. <sighs> yeah, I got a good job. Or at least what I think is a good job. I like it. I get to work from home. It's awesome. And I'm in charge of stuff and things. Um, I'm going to take Blood Earth just because I, I don't really care about my HP and kind of want to get rid of it. And I'm just going to go. <laughs> ah, nice. Pair of Analysts. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, that keeps a Horror Babylon going in case we get any Red Hearts, Blood Earth there. And it gives us a little bit of damage per floor as well. Which is, 
It's not a good amount, but it's not insignificant. But yeah, I don't, I don't like go into too much detail with my work, but I don't mind like telling people stuff that isn't going to get me in trouble or isn't going to actually like come back to me any sort of way. Um, I basically, I used to work at a university um, just as a like writing documentation for programs and code and stuff. Um, after after I finished university, I went to a different university and worked there for a bit um, in like a collaborative zone. I don't even know. It, it, it was called like the, the industry collaboration zone. It, it was kind of like a... Um, it's, it was like a startup that was based within the university and funded by the university. It was kind of strange. Um, it, yeah, it was kind of odd. So I did that for a little while, but then that kind of fell through because um, COVID... And the my my old boss like moved away to back like he was American he moved back to America, uh, but he he like when he finished a, the university job, he um <coughs> I do apologize he he was like hey I'm part of this startup do you want to be part of it and I was like yeah okay I don't have a job now and it's COVID so it's gonna be hard to get one so yes um and then uh I, oh it's a rainbow champion kill it with fire quickly um so yeah i was like yeah cool didn't even know what job i'd signed up for didn't know what i'd be doing or much about the company at all it's like here you're the operations manager now never been an operations manager before N <laughs> had had zero experience in that area but there you go and honestly like i've i've sort of got pretty comfortable with it i've been doing it like a year and a half now so i've gotten pretty comfortable with the role and i kind of know what i'm doing now but it was a bit scary to start with because I had no idea what was going on. Um, I did um, a bachelor's degree. I have a bachelor of science in computer science with games development. I done did the university. It was hard. Yeah, I, I like the 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 course was quite coding heavy, and obviously I got through the course. But I basically finished uni and was like, "Hey, guess what? This course taught me apart from how to code that I don't like coding, <laughs> or at least I don't like coding as a job." I I, I after, after university, I knew for a fact that I didn't want to code for a job. I wanted to do something in the world of technology. And in the world of coding, but I didn't want to code myself. It's so as a job, coding is so fucking stressful. Or at least it was for me. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. I need to chill out. Yeah, I, I found it really, really stressful. Box? Are you kidding me? Stars card. Um, I think Monkey's Paw at this point is better than Petrified Poop. What's the worst game you've ever played in your life? Ooh. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Apart from games that I've played purposely because they're bad, I, it, that's a really hard question, to be honest. I honestly don't know if I can answer that properly. I have to have a good old think about that. I've got a master's, never used it. Basically helped me get my current work situation. Yeah, honestly, Slim, that's like the vast majority. For, the, for, for, for people that don't know, by the way, that's like the vast majority of what going to university is for. Like, you might get a job in your industry, but you kind of go and you get the degree to prove to people that you can get a degree. <laughs> And a lot of people will you're like more likely to get hired because you have a degree, especially a master's. Uh, you're more you're more likely to have it just because people are like, oh, this person finished a university course. Because the thing is, finishing a university course is a lot of dedication. It's three years of hard work, or at least two years. The first year is kind of kind of easy, 
But um, the last two years now. But uh, it's like it's like a good solid three years of hard work and like dedication and sticking with it. And you can quit at any time. So the fact that you got through it all and got your degree and didn't what the hell happened then? And didn't quit at all. And you, yeah, you got through it. It just proves that you're dedicated and it proves that you work hard and you're motivated. And to an employer, that's like really fucking good. That's kind of like one of the biggest things for them. Um. Yeah, honestly, I, that that's not happened to me, but that is a big thing. Like, the, you can go for lower down jobs or lower paying jobs, and people say you're over ed educated for your job, but it's like, I just want a job to make money. Like, why do why does the education have to be a big factor? I just need money to live. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. That's that's an annoying thing. It doesn't happen as much in the UK here, but it does happen still. Get good. Noise. Okay, slightly getting annoyed at the fact that we keep going the wrong way. Is it down here? It very well, might be. Oh God, we are getting hit in this room. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. For God's sake, game, can you take me the right way, please? How is this the wrong way? I I got I got relatively lucky in terms of my job and career path. Um, oh no, oh no no no. Uh, I basically I did one job out out of uni. I hadn't worked during uni or prior to uni really, apart from like some odd jobs. Like, small ones, like a paper route and stuff. Hey, that's very nice. False PhD is also pretty good. Um, Yeah, I'll take an experimental. Shot speed down, damage up. Awesome. Um, But, yeah, and, like, out of uni, I moved in with my uh, girlfriend in a new city um, where she studies rather than where I studied because I studied in my home city. Um, And then, uh, let's, let's go for that. And then I got a job pretty much as soon as I got here, uh, just at a shop, like a store. I stayed at that store for um, about a year and a bit, and I ended up becoming like a senior sales manager there, uh, doing like the, the opening and closing and cashing up and stuff. Um, and then um, after that, I got the job at the university through my girlfriend. She she knew the people that worked there. I got an interview. They knew they knew that the uh, that I was Katie's. Um, ooh, should we go for this? Should we go for this? Yeah, we'll do it. Um, yeah, uh, hey, blue baby, noise, and the blue room, noise. Um, yeah, and bas basically, um, they they knew me, they, they knew that I was Kate's boyfriend, so they were like, okay, this guy's trustworthy, and like coming from a trustworthy source, because Kate is really fucking good at a job. Um, <clears throat> and we locked blue baby, yeah, we did, nice. Um, so they were like, cool, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll test this guy out for a week. They they liked what they saw. I got the job. Oh god damn. Uh, I got the job, and then, like I said, my next job was really lucky. Basically, I lost my job, and then immediately got another one because my old boss was like, "I, I have a, I have a startup you can work on right now," and I was like, "Yes, please, that would be fantastic. Thank you." Oh ha ha! We needed that so bad. Thank you. We needed that so bad. We are taking some damage in this room, baby. No, no, we're not. Ho ho ho! Oh, baby. I'm actually gonna bomb these as well. Might get a, a card that we can carry through. Where's our Where's our um, strength card, anyways? I thought we were holding a strength card. What happened to that? I don't know. I dropped it along the way somewhere. Oh, ha ha. That was beautiful. This, not so much. Although, honestly, this room isn't that hard for the reward that we're getting for it, to be honest, so. I'm not that miffed. And I can bomb some of these skulls as well if I'd like. Although we do have some champion birdies over there. I'm hoping the fire slash um, that, that attack will deal with most of them. Nice, we can get in here easily for free. Thank you very much for the subscription. Very, very nice. Thank you indeed. Okay, this should drop two black arts for us, right? Nope. Nope. Okay, false PhD has lied to me. I feel ultimately betrayed. And Ursa oh sad. Ursa oh upsetty spaghetti. 
the Prime sub. You absolute beast. Thank you very much. <coughs> but it's been... It's, oh, God, that was really stupid of me. Um, it has been really nice um, working from home the past year and a bit. It fits my lifestyle and just me a lot better. And my job, because I work with a lot of people from a lot of different countries. I work with people in a few different states in America. I work with people in India. I've worked with someone in Australia um, for a brief time. And it's kind of all over the place, so... Um, it means that the work hours are very flexible. It's just kind of, oh, ho, 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 we're getting so lucky right now. It's just kind of work when you can, rather than specific hours, which really suits me for my YouTube stuff, because it means that I can... You know, you, any of you that watch the uh, the YouTube series on the regular will, will probably know by now, I say a lot in the start of the video, hey, I'm recording this in the morning before work. And that's normally at, like, n like 9 o'clock after I've been to the gym, so I can, like, get, get up at 8 nine o'clock go to the gym do an isaac video after and then start work it's great uh yes 100 percent. our company is completely remote we will we'll still be working from home even if even after COVID. it's not it's, it's not really got anything to do with COVID. Co COVID was just kind of the thing that facilitated us starting working like this but this will be a continuation <coughs> turtle gets buff i am far from buff i am a I am a lump of a man. As one of the quotes from Turtle Quotes in my Discord says, I'm what they call in the business a fat cunt. What the heck's going on in this room? Hey, a card. Ooh, a sun card. Hello. Yes, by, by no means am I anything close to buff. <coughs> I'm literally named after the least, one of the least active animals in existence. Pretty much. Exactly. Three, two, one. Really hoping we get some good $3 bills here. Whoopsie, got hit straight away. Okay, you're pretty much toast. Ooh, I should not have gotten hit there. Ooh, I should not have gotten hit there either. It's all right, though. We've got Monkey's Paw as well, remember? And a Sun Card as well. Not the Sun Card super. In fact, pop the Sun Card now. It's not actually useful to us. Because we can't get a heal from it. Because we don't have any red hearts. There we go. We got him. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, nice. I am going to go... And quickly do one little thing. This is min-maxing to the extreme. I know. But I'm going to go and check my secret room in case it has Arky in it. <laughs> it's unlikely. But, like, imagine the clip farming if it did. Imagine. Imagine it. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, honestly, like, if, if your course isn't practical... Like, remote classes can work really well. Anyways, in we go. Nice little Eve run there. Love that one. The razor has been unlocked. Okay. <clears throat> Who is next? By the way, we can now go and do, um... We can now go and do... Mega Satan, if we get a teleport to the dark room. We can also now do, what's it called? Um, but. The, uh, do the hush fight, if we want to do hush. Theoretical clashes never required me to spend two hours a day taking buses. Oh god, that sounds horrible. When I was at university, I remember a lot of the time we would have lectures that would we'd have like lectures from nine a.m. until eleven and uh, until eleven a.m. and then my next lecture wouldn't be until four p.m. and it's like I don't have like I don't have a car. I can't go home in that time. I have to stay here for like ages and ages and ages and it's like later on in the year it didn't matter because we had studying to do coursework but earlier on in the year it's just you just sat around doing nothing um let's do let's do i don't know i don't know i'm scared 
I kind of want to do Lilith, but I think Lilith's normal marks are pretty tough. We could try Blue Baby, but Blue Baby's also pretty tough. What do people think? Should we try Blue Baby? Or is that a bit too spicy? Is that a bit too spicy? Yeah, Jemmy, you're right. It's it's a silver lining. I think a lot of businesses and, and just the world in general has realized how little we actually need to be in offices. It takes up so much money and resources to get people to work and stuff. <sighs> yeah, probably right, Pedroff. Uh, who do we think then? Because we can go with, like, Lazarus, who only has one mark. Uh... We could go with, like, Judas. Uh, we've got a few that we can do. Probably maybe Lazarus. What do you think? He only has one mark. I can also try and get the D6. Lazarus would be great. Let's do Lazarus, then. Do Lazzy. Hey, first time messenger. Let's try it out. Why would you small? I'm pretty happy with that. Also, if, if anyone's wondering why, like, hairstyles and sprites of characters look a bit different. Ooh, double pill. HP up, shot speed down. Awesome. Um, yeah, if anyone's wondering why uh, certain sprites look different, it's because of a mod that I have that's called, like, graphical tweaks. It's purely visual, but it just makes characters look a bit better. I always like doing this sort of thing where I just talk about random stuff. Kind of like other content creators do. Like, I watch Northern Lion a lot and he just chats random shit in all of his videos. I do like doing it and I do it in my videos from time to time. But it can be very difficult to grasp onto a random topic and kind of stick with it. On a few of my recent videos, <coughs> especially my Gungeon ones, I talk about a bunch of random shit. And like, how about how recently I, I basically killed myself with alcohol via a very spicy burger that I inflicted on myself. It was quite the torment that was like on my i would say on my birthday but i had like a little birthday party a few days after my birthday with friends and i inflicted pain upon myself and i mean a lot of pain yes i've been watching northern lion for like nine years pretty much every single day he is my lord and savior as the great man would say himself he is poggy woggy's analog stick Bit of a tear right up. Not the best tear right up, but there you go. Good, good, good. I, I kind of, when I sort of think of my own content, like one of the big sort of influences for me for starting YouTube and Twitch was Northern Lion because I've been watching him for so long. That's why I play this game and just roguelikes in general. I mean, I, it's also because I, I really like playing them a lot, but like that's kind of the big inspiration behind, behind doing content on them. Um, and like, I kind of think of myself sort of akin to his commentary style, but with a lot more focus on gameplay. Like, I, I, I try to mix in random stories and all that sort of jazz here and there. <clears throat> but I also um, like to give quite informative descriptions of what I'm doing and why. So that people that are new to games can get better at them. Have I ever tried on sale? No, I haven't, and I do not care to. That game does not look like my sort of thing at all. Undertale has never taken my interest at all, really. I know it's a fan favourite for a lot of people, but... For me, it's just a game that I, I, I just can't... I, I don't really care about. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. Don't worry about our health right now. We're fine. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Got him to smush his baby. Just basically just don't walk on the on the webbing that he places down and we'll be fine. It's always annoying when he does that there, where he just pl pumps out just a thousand children. There we go. You just get him to step on them all. Just ask him to kindly step on his children. What are you stepping on, step bro? <clears throat> 
could play the game for an hour. Yeah. Completely, yeah. I, like, that is a good thing and a bad thing. I think for newcomers to Isaac and to Northern Lion, it's a bad thing. But Northern Lion has an incredibly well-established audience. He doesn't really grow that much from month to month, from year to year. He just kind of has his 800k audience that he sticks with uh, and that know him and, and have been watching him for a long time. And I think he kind of built up his audience from a younger age. And now everyone's kind of my age, like... 24 25 that are watching him i mean obviously there is younger people but <clears throat> a lot of the people are that sort of age range um <clears throat> and it means that he can play isaac and just like not talk about isaac at all and basically no one that's watching cares like main times that i watch um i watch northern lion i normally watch him when i'm in bed and usually i i, I just put his videos on while i go to sleep because i've always been Oh god, that was bad. I've always been the sort of person that prefers noise when I'm sleeping. Um, and obviously his videos are perfect for that because because he is just he has a great voice and great topics and stuff for just incoherent ramblings. <laughs> I, I won't exactly call them incoherent, but you know what I mean. They're just like completely random off the wall things that that are just crazy. <clears throat> And it's like I, I I aspire to be able to chat that much shit. <laughs> it sounds mean, but it is true. I do. Yeah, I gotta say a lot of people use his content in that way, I think. We did get a key, finally. Good. I think a lot of people use his content in that same way. Should we try and get a trinket out of this uh, fortune teller? Yes, the black bean. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. We got two of spades. That's decent enough. <clears throat> Come on, trinket. Ah, damn it. On life gives you lemons, a reroll. I'm also going to play this twice as well. Hey, blood bag's finally been unlocked. Yes. Okay. Hey, a look penny. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to play this one more, uh, like two more times, like one more heart's worth. Blood bag finally been unlocked is awesome though. Very happy about that. <clears throat> oh no. I mistimed the bomb. The bomb strat is so fun against pin, but I mistimed it. I didn't even need to use the bomb, but it's just fun. I just love insta-killing him. It's so funny. <clears throat> Where's he gonna pop up next? Here he is. Here comes that penny boy. Nice. Uh, let's go play it a little more and see if we can get a blood bag. Have you played Getting Over It? I have played Getting Over It. Um, I played it when it first, like when it very first came out. I mean like within days of it coming out. And um, I I was living at my parents' house at the time because I was a child. I raged at it really hard at about three in the morning, woke up my parents and had my computer confiscated from me for about a week. Because I raged at it so hard. Ooh, there you go. Lovers. She's my lover. I actually quite like this this whole um, thing of me being ill while playing this because I'm just playing and talking very sort of, I wouldn't say low energy, but just very chill, very relaxed, and I'm enjoying it a lot. It's very nice. Isaac's such a relaxing game for me. I know that, that sounds super weird considering how stressful this game can be and how salty it's made me over this past two hours. But it is just like, it's, it's such a comfort game. It's such a good comfort game, like to just be familiar with everything, know what you're doing and just kind of play it. It's great. And it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is about Isaac. Maybe it's just because the amount of items it has and with Repentance with the amount of variety each run has. But compared to like something like Gungeon, this game never gets boring, no matter how much I play it. Like, I feel like I can overplay this game. I feel like a lot of other roguelikes, I can easily overplay them. But this one, it just doesn't feel like that. 
I like it a lot. Hopefully this guy gives us some pennies on death. No, 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 no. No pennies for me. Okay, good, good. Taken out. <clears throat> yeah, like, I wouldn't exactly say it's turning my brain off. It's kind of a mixture, really. Like, in, in half, it, it is. In half, it's just like, I don't have to think too much. I can just play. But in the other half, it's a really good way of just engaging. And like, especially when I wake up in the morning, like I said, I, I often record my daily Isaac video. Because I still record daily, even though I have a massive backlog. Um, when I record my daily video, I very often do it, like, first thing in the morning, after I've been to the gym or whatever, if I go. Um, we'll definitely take a tea right up here. Um, and it, it really wakes me up. It really gets me, like, ready for the day. Hey, Toasty Mun. Toasty Mush, even. Thank you for the raid. Toasty raid, toasty raid. Hey there. Oh my god, our our little icons, our little uh Oh that's so cute. We have really similar um really similar heart icons. I love that. That's so cute. That is so cute. Oh god, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Um we have really similar heart uh emojis. I love that. I'm gonna spam some of my emojis now because why not? We got turtle rage, turtle sus, turtle why. We did have turtle salt in here for a little while, but that one's been changed out. Boom bow. Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks. I'm doing good. I'm just playing some Binding of Isaac Nuzlocke challenge. It's scary times. Oh god, didn't realize these guys were about to, about town. Playing as Lazarus at the minute, having a nice chill run. Probably not going to make boss rush here. But we'll see. We'll see. Voodoo head. Intriguing. I don't think I'm going to take voodoo head. I think we should buy the sack. And then do you know what? Let's pop that as well. Oh my god. There's some cute ones. There's some cute ones. I like them. That's, that's that's one thing I've got to say I love about like Twitch and YouTube and stuff is seeing people's brand seeing people's like Unique takes on characters and like names that they have like I don't know about you um Toasty But like my name just came out of nowhere like I got my name when I was like 14 off of playing Gmod and it's become this big identity for me and I've got these really cool emotes and like characters for that that my artist drew for my thumbnails on youtube and stuff and it's just it's so fucking cool it's and it's it's just it's interesting to see like other people's as well as there's, there's some really fucking good art out there from like just the weirdest names and like most random subjects and stuff that just like they're so fitting for like a character personality sort of thing it's great i love it What is the hardest person for you? I am sorry, but I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. <laughs> My answer is very intelligently. I don't know. Let's um, let's get up the OG, the OG turtle melon. The people want to see where my beautiful name came from. My beautiful original turtle melon. Let's let's take a little look, shall we? Here he is. Here's the boy. The original turtle melon. The very first. The OG. That is where the turtle melon came from. From a random Gmod prop hunt server when I was about 14. And that has been my name ever since because I thought it was hilarious. Oh! oh. Oot, oot, oot. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. Oh my god, god. We've got to really speed up now because we could possibly do hush. In fact, we can definitely do hush on this run if we speed ourselves up a bit. And we really need to get our three hush kills in, so... 
Let's try and hustle our bustle a little bit here. I feel like I've been going fairly slow. I mean, I'm not super slow. This is Caves 2, but... Ah, see you later, Axelot. It's been nice having you, dude. Sci-Flight is so lucky. You're damn right. You do be right there. Now we can just chill out. I'm liking our fire rate. I would like more damage, though. Die, fiend. Strength card's nice here. I'll crack that open as well. Consolation prize, that's good too. Ah, we only got range out of it, but whatever. Honestly, we did need the range, to be honest. Our range was looking pretty piss poor. Okay. Take these fellas out real quick. And keep on pushing on. Keep on pushing on. Okay, we we were a bit we're a bit slow for boss rush, I think, but we should we should be able to make hush if we keep going. Okay, we've got a few of these mushes over here. You got mush in my head now. Where mushes has entered my brain. Take care of my little toasts. Ah, see you later, dude. Toast versus toasty, definitely toasty, definitely toasty. Uh, I'm going to blow up some of these for the chance. Ah, I had to try it. Hey! How you doing, dude? It's going good. We've, we've had some pretty good runs so far. Oh, a pretty good run? How many runs have we done? We're on our third run, I think. We're on our third run or fourth run? I can't remember. I'm losing track of things. We have Sci-Fly on this run, so we're doing pretty good. That was a really bad hit by me there. He did eat our bomb though, so nice bit of damage there. Calm down, sir. Stop being so angry. We're trying to speed along to make boss rush. What in the hell? Three soul hearts? This boy paying out. My lord. My good lordy lord. We haven't fought the angel statues yet, so I thought it's a good idea. Nice. Right, let's go. We've got to try and make hush. I really hope we can make, um, we can make hush here. We gotta speed ourselves up. I can't believe that fucking boss dropped three soul hearts and like five red hearts. What was going on with that? Ooh, that's a good trinket. I like that. Mulligan. Awesome. Two of hearts is very good for us here as well. To the boss, let's go. Oh, for God's sake. Stop going the wrong way, turtle. Please. It's not good for anyone. I haven't gotten a full key yet, no. That's, I'm going to try and do that this run if possible. I really just want to make hush this run, to be honest. But I don't, I honestly, I don't think we're fast enough right now. We're, we're going really, really slow. Like, obviously, Sci-Fly helps with defensive stuff. We don't have any damage up yet. Mulligan is really good for that, though. We are getting a lot more damage from Mulligan. That is very, very nice. Okay, come on, Mulligan. Keep those flies a coming. We've also just got really good fire rate in general here. But we keep getting these really slow ass rooms. These rooms take forever to complete. Oh, for God's sake, and I keep getting hit in them too. 
Because I'm trying to go fast. I need to calm down. I'm playing too chill, and then I'm I'm trying to make up for it by playing too fast. Not good. <laughs> 16 minutes. I want to get a penny. I want the shop to be useful. Shop isn't that useful anyways. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. Get me the hell out of here. Don't have time for these rooms, my dude. Too time consuming. Emperor. Gotta have the Emperor. Okay, this guy isn't too bad for us. We probably won't use the Emperor on the next floor unless we absolutely have to. I did not lose Kane. I did not lose Kane. I beat, I be, I beat the Lamb. I beat the Lamb. We're on a good run at the minute as well. Trying to do hush for the first time. Devil deal. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <sighs> we'll hope we just get through all of this as quick as we can. Find our item room, all that good jazz. Goddamn, Sci-Fi allows you to be just... The most aggressive character in existence. It's great. This is good. Not so good. We'll buy the soul heart though. 18 minutes. Another really annoying, quite long room. At least again, we can be really aggressive here. Okay, good. Item room, what you hold for us. Molotar. Ember card, let's go. We got Red Mum, which is kind of good, kind of bad. It does mean that we're going to get a champion boss rush. If we get boss rush, that is. I mean, Red Mum is notoriously slow. We do have a whole minute to kill her, though. More than a minute, so we should be fine. Ah, how did I get hit there? That was really slow reactions on my part there. Really slow reactions. There you go, we got her. Health up, good, good. Death touch, awesome. Okay, we need this to be a relatively fast boss rush if we're going to make hush. Oh, no, 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 no. How am I meant to dodge? You hit me twice with that? Are you kidding me? Okay, now that we have piercing, things should go a lot smoother for us at least. With bosses like this. Slightly annoying that I just can't find their segments at all. Oh my god. Please stop with your sides. Okay, I need to bomb these rocks. They're right in the way. Same with these ones. Just get them gone. Good. I don't know if we're going to be quick enough for Hush here, to be honest. This is going to be a very slow boss rush. We don't have as much damage as I thought. Death Touch is helping, but still. This feels like it's going to be a slow one. Although, that was a quick kill. What on earth? I'm getting quite unlucky with some of these boss spawns and stuff. 
Sci-fi does make things like that just infinitely easier, though. Okay, multi-segment boss, that's awesome. Boss that spawns stuff, that's also pretty good. Nice. Oh, Soul Heart, yes, please. Okay, we have slowing creep for this dude. Easy kill on this dude. We should be dead now, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, this guy is trying to summon stuff, but I think we're killing it before it jumps. We are good. Okay, we're actually going quicker than I would have thought here at first glance. I thought I was going pretty slow, but I'm actually not. Most of the bosses are going down pretty darn quick. I still think we might be a little slow for boss uh, for hush, but we'll see. I'm really hoping we can get it, because the thing is, Sci-Fly is like... As long as we have okay health, Sci-Fly is like a guaranteed win on hush. Like, all of his attacks are bullet hell, and... Sci-Fly just hard counters it. Okay, good. The slowing creep is really helping here. Bolotar. Very, very good. <laughs> Underrated, I'd say. I don't know what other boss is here. It's dark one, okay. I can deal with the dark one. Slow him down a bit. Just get hit by him for no reason. That's how you do it. Loki can teleport. Slightly annoying, but otherwise not a threat. Brownie, I'm going to leave if I can. No, I can't. He's teleported behind him. Okay, now he's teleported this way. There you go. That that was actually like a double whammy there. Okay, Mask of Infamy. I'm so glad I have piercing for Mask of Infamy. I've got to say. Mask of Infamy can be so annoying if you don't have piercing. Get on the spikes, you fool. And get slowed down. Yes, the slowing creep again comes in clutch. The only bad attack on Hush is the beams. Yeah, you're right. The beams can be a bit of a problem. Okay, Angel's slightly annoying. I think Angel is a deal with it after sort of thing, though. I say that and immediately get hit. Twice. This would have been so much quicker if we'd have had a bunch of bombs, but alas, we came in with none. Hopefully we get a good item at the end of this. Can you stop hitting me, please? Okay, Cage is definitely the boss we go for first. Wait, the other fellow spawned inside him. Drop a bomb on him, please. Didn't quite do what I wanted, but you did take a bunch of damage unnecessarily. That's nice. There we go. That, that, that was a great wave. Last two waves here. We don't have flight right now, so be careful on this guy. Okay, last wave. Really not a hard one either. Just don't charge at me, it'll be fine. War. What is it good for? Absolutely none. Say it again. Wow. What is it good for? War? What are you good for? Wasting my fucking time. Just let me kill you, you shit. <laughs> Missing no. Ooh, great. Honestly, that could save us some time. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. That could save us some sweet, sweet time here. <laughs> How do I escape? Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? There it is. <laughs> it's it's XL. It's an XL. Really? You teleported me to the room next to the room I was in? Are you kidding me? Why? What's the point? Why even bother doing that? I think this was a bad idea. I've got I've got time. Just explore it normally. I've got it. I've got the time. Okay, hands coming in. Multiple, I think. Yeah, three, I think. 
Nope, just two. Okay. I think we're on the right path now. Just a great room. All round fantastic room there. Oh, for God's sake, can I just go the right way for once, please? This has been a colossal waste of time. Don't even tell me it's this way. The original way I was going to go. Seeming more and more likely. Oh god, this is annoying. Getting really annoying enemies. Just wasting my time more and more. If I don't make hush, I am going to cry. Good. Oh, for God's sake, how is this still the wrong way game? Please, fuck off. If I teleport again, it can teleport me to rooms I've already been to, so... Not really. Oh my god! How is there this many wrong ways? Fuck off! We've, we've missed it. We've missed it, because the game's screwing me. <laughs> We're gonna miss it, because the game is just fucking with me so much right now. How is there this many wrong ways? Oh my god, this is another wrong way. Thank you for the follow. I hope you're enjoying hearing me rage. It could be this way. It could be this way. I had to try it. I had to try it. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right path now. I'm really annoyed out of bombs. I could bomb out so many of these annoying rooms. How is it still not over? <laughs> what the fuck game? I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna miss it by seconds. I guarantee it. I'm gonna miss it by seconds. Okay, I've been hit a load. Yep, literally, I'm going to miss it by seconds.
I'm just so sad. That was such harsh shit. I literally missed it by two seconds. If the heart would have died faster, I would have still got it. It was a guaranteed win as well. Like, there was no way we wouldn't beat Hush. We missed it by a second. Okay, this is fun. How did I not get hit there? Okay. Just, why was there so many wrong ways? And where's all my fucking bombs? I want to bomb through some doors, game. Please give me some bombs. If I had not gone into that monstro room, it would have been fine. Oh, we don't have any bombs to blow it up. Why'd I even do that? Brimstone ghost. It's fantastic. I just... I, I went as fast as I could that floor. As fast as I humanly could. Missed it by three seconds. Can't you just give me it at that point? Can't you just be not a dick and just give it to me? I've worked hard enough. Come on. Don't walk into the feet, please. I'm going to have to leave it there after this run, I think. Otherwise, I'm going to get too stressed out over that hush. But we beat the lamb, which was my objective for today. I was hoping we'd be able to beat the hush as well. But there you go. Broken arm unlocked. Good amount of stuff done there. Good amount of stuff done there. 12 win streak as well. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Very good little stream there. Lots of stressful moments. Thank you all that followed and that found my channel, people that raided, all that sort of good stuff. Everything, I appreciate it all. And we will be back again to, um, we'll be back again on uh, Saturday to play a little bit more. A little bit of a longer break between. We'll be back on Saturday to play a bit more and see if we can keep this a going. No losses yet. I'm very, very happy. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.